accessories of online uh, platform you have a chat box hopefully i don't know what platform we are going to go into now but if you have a chat box then teacher and all of them or peers can chat or you can have a private chat with any of your children but you can always replicate some of those teamwork stuff that you did in the classroom the poll booth is another one we have a poll booth here in uh, on zoom where you ask a question and children type yes or no that sort of thing can be done whiteboard for questions pre recorded teaching or video shares so you can even record your um, your lesson and send it to them and they can actually then answer the questions when they meet you that is also possible you can video share and both of you can watch the video together and you can pause it from time to time and ask them questions on the video you can do your listening comprehensions like that there's a record button for recording children's work for reading for recitals for discussions everything can be the whole class can be recorded and replayed for people who have not been able to attend so that is another one those are things that are hard to do and you do have those smart boards and things like that i'm not saying nobody has done it in a classroom but for those who don't have it this is an excellent way to get there share screen for video discussions vfc vfc is my acronym for volume frequency context and i think all of you know that so use this for 5 minutes suppose you've taught them something something 4 days back ask them today one question one essential question what are the five elements of that adventure story ask and they'll type it and then you read it out now when you read it out everybody has kind of noticed it do this kind of thing make sure that you revise you revisit old learning if you don't revisit old learning it is lost this is something that you must remember and if you revisit uh, old learning it is spectacular your success i'm talking about disadvantaged children that i have worked with children who can barely speak any english the amount of work that we have done with them in 3 months by just vfc revisiting frequency volume frequency context so there is absolutely no reason why you can't do this allow discussions of older students and with older students and join them so let them discuss if you are sitting with a grade 7 classroom get yourself out of the video go and have a cup of tea and say i'm going going to give you 15 minutes discuss it come to a consensus and give me five points when i come back join them after that 10 minutes and ask them what did you come to what conclusions did you draw that's a great way of doing it's different see children teaching you going away and coming back for a consensus all these are different it's not the same it's not you going blah 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 every single day where you can't see the children you don't know what is happening out there so therefore allow discussions and find out consensus use a whatsapp and email as additional digital support so don't do just the one platform that you're doing use home time for video watching as i said if you want them to watch a video send it to them tell them watch it and come back with two on two uh, the two questions answered that might be a good way to do it uh, even if your children all your children have not watched that video if you have six children who have watched it and are going to talk about it it is still learning for the one for the others who have not watched it use digital class time for real and live interactions so teach students how to make them autonomous autonomy is the goal of all teachers our business is not to simply teach and do an exam our business is to make them autonomous autonomous means they can do it on their own they do not need us so the faster you cut your apron strings the better it is for you and for them okay so teach children the process of understanding poetry and i put that for you i talked to you about it title word clusters themes devices imagery mood symbols and links to life very important links to life whenever you teach any of these things make sure they make notes make sure you do one poem with them like this on a ppt and show them how to do it after that let them all attack one or two poems in groups and after that they are on their own let them let them fall a little bit 
let them struggle in that water a little bit they'll start swimming the sooner you take off the life belt faster they will start swim swimming the more you hold on to them the more dependent they will become on you and they will not be able to do it so don't do that teach children the process of understanding unseen texts title you look at the title what could it be you skim and scan for topic check the genre find the key elements of their stories or main points of argument persuasion discussion answering wh and how in a report that's what you do in a report now if i know so much what is there for me to tackle that text why do you need to explain anything tell me if i know it's a persuasive text and there are two points of persuasion there's a language in persuasion that's basically trying to get that person over to my side i don't want to be want him to become hostile and say no you're not getting it right so there's a language there's a certain extremely tender language that you use you won't do that in an argument you'll be brash in an argument you'll be aggressive because your whole intention is to win in an argument in a discussion you'll do both sides in a report you will answer wh and how questions what is so difficult about this just ask them when you meet them what is a what happens in a persuasion what happens do the make this your core question and ask it every day by the end of the lockdown you all your children will know all their genres pit pat i guarantee you if you do this every day they will all know it and if they know that they are already on, in in a very good place so therefore whittle uh, teach writing after reading a genre once how tos are understood they need to use it in their own writing whittle down the chapters to its basics and essentials keep it simple revisit the skills often just because i do this once it will not stick in their minds they need to have it repeated a few times do it every day it takes 2 seconds to to do it somebody will answer and everybody will hear it or if they don't hear it you repeat it you repeat what the child has said on your chat window and you're done right um do not over correct that's the other thing if you're going to get them to write essays please do not sit with 40 scripts and start correcting it to death it doesn't go anywhere if it was so simple that we corrected and they got it right by now all of them would be writing brilliantly we all know that that doesn't happen right so what do we need to do we need to pick out the eight most important or most grievous errors that children are making and teach that now you can teach that by sending them a worksheet doesn't have to be where you teach on a board it may not be possible let them do the worksheet and come back and then you can put up the answers and say how many of you got it right now if those who have not got it right you can just teach those bits of somebody let's say the, the 80% of the class got number 3 wrong teach number 3 that's all you need to teach see but you have got them to think about the error now if you don't know how to do this message me i will send you a sheet and i'll show you how to do it i'll show you what the sheet looks like when you send a send out send out stuff like this now when you have done two tests like this and you've got about 18 or 20 pieces of errors sitting there tell them i'm going to send you a test and your parents will supervise and you will write it and you will send it to me by email you can do tests at home you just need to get the parents to supervise see they just need to know everybody needs to know that if i'm dishonest then i'm cheating myself i'm not cheating the teacher everybody knows that just give them an opportunity to be honest so you can run your tests but make sure those tests are useful make sure those tests are efficient and that it actually makes a change in children's lives okay don't just give it for the sake of giving do spellings with families chunking and endings So if you go to my spelling video I have shown you all the ways to do spelling. Check it out and put your primary and your secondary on a spelling program. And this is the time to do all that because they have got time. They can do it at any time. 
don't give them so much homework and tell them come tomorrow between all of you teachers you must have a realistic homework schedule so that they are not doing english and history and geography and they also have to draw a piece of art and they also have to sing for the music teacher you can't do this they'll be probably doing more work than than they did before so you really need to be careful with your schedules you need to sit together and plan on how you are going to manage this you can keep all the pieces short they don't have to write very long essays for you it can be a paragraph but it needs to be grammatically correct it needs to have two arguments you can do it trust me uh that reading the book and going line by line it's a convenience it's a laziness and in this time if you can actually get your children up and running on many fronts let me tell you you will feel good about yourself otherwise it's just going to be another uh, you know using a, a very difficult medium to impart knowledge and what you will be doing is you'll be do, doing the same thing that you did in a classroom that will not help them at all encourage listening on these are two videos that i'm recommending to you ted ed excellent videos and Nat Ge national geographic brilliant now you can talk to your geography teacher you can talk to your history teacher and you can see how you can uh, um integrate right as i said keep about 20 minutes on a couple of days for your remedial children so that they are differentiated So there are lots of things you can do. You can get your bright children to run a couple of classes. You can allow them to bring their own, uh, you know, pet. Um, what shall we say? You know, the kind of stuff that they uh, enjoy reading. So you can do book reviews. You can get them to talk about what they read. Even if they read comics, let them bring it. There's humor in it, isn't there? So it's not nothing is a waste. it's all about giving people breaks in the middle don't kind of go into this academic strangle hold on the kids at this time because nobody is really normal people are all in not in a normal state you're not having a normal holiday you're locked down it's more like a prison than like a resort okay so if you keep this in mind then you will be a lot more gentle with your children with their parents with yourself and with your schedules and set a few questions to answer so that will be one thing that you can do so i have come to the end of my uh video